tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Satnam, everyone. My name is Reverend Ridge, and I'm your anchor for Practical Magic. And today, we're talking about demonstrating your Christhood and rising above your limitations. As all of you know, here in the show, we talk about, you know, the power and presence of source within you, higher consciousness within you. And we know that this year brought us a lot of experiences that really challenged us to grow and expand our awareness. So today I'm very excited because I have two guests who actually just accomplished those two things, especially with the incredible limitations that this year offered us. But before we proceed with the introduction and meeting them, I just want to invite everyone for a simple affirmation, which I learned from my late teacher, Dr. George Sheeson. So I invite everyone to simply close your eyes and use your right palm to touch your heart. And together, let's affirm, I am a miracle worker creating miracles in my life and in other people's lives. I am a miracle worker creating miracles in my life and in other people's lives. I am a miracle worker creating miracles in my life and in other people's lives. And together, Let's chant Satnam three times, one for ourselves, the next one for someone we are praying for, and the third for our global village. Take a deep breath in and out. Satnam. Satnam 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 everyone it always gives me a good feeling every time we're doing it together especially you know so Satnam uh, Jen and Dr. Anita, um, whom I call a mom. How are you both doing? <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. And then we get wow. together without, you know, keeping our mask on. And then just, just, you know, show each other's love. And then we take our plates home to eat them when we, you know, when we get home. So the kids, they were able to enjoy their Christmas. And I took um, their gifts over. So, you know, just, um, I think that's mainly, I'm, I mean, I'm hearing a lot of people saying how they're doing it, the Zoom thing, which is, that's yeah. beautiful. I, I love that, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm grateful because, I, you know, I'm just one of those, I, you know, I just, I want to see my babies. So, <laughs> all of them. If I have to, you know, just give a handshake, although we're going to give a hug, but because we keep our mask on. So that's how, basically, that's how we're celebrating. So, and and yeah. that's the beauty of it, continuing to celebrate. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing it because uh, one of my spiritual teachers was actually saying, you know, you can be in the middle of something that's really chaotic and something that can take your joy away. But it's a matter of decision how you're going to find the good in the experience and find something to celebrate. So thank you for sharing those things. And, you know, one of the things that I wanted to uh, ask Jen, because I know the first time that I had her on the show, you were talking about her book, 101 Spiritual Tools. But just a couple of weeks later, she came up with her new TV show. and. Uh, Jen, please share more about your show because it's very much related to the topic. With the, the heal, the, the 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 I'm gonna say the healing, and then the the healing occurred. So, what was the first thing? Faith. Yeah. Yeah. And I just think that's amazing. Yes. Uh, thank you for sharing that, Mom. Because I know with Tap Into You, it's so important as well for one to have that belief in themselves, that confidence in oneself. And I also want to make a segue because, you know, uh, Jennifer, I, I didn't realize that 
one of the things that motivated her to finish her book 101 Spiritual Tools for Uncertain Times was overcoming her own health limitation, especially during this pandemic. And I was pretty amazed when I watched the interview because I was reading the 101 Spiritual Tools for Uncertain Times and I was really focused on the forgiveness and then having to ask the how does it get any better than this? So when I watched your interview with Amanda Masters in Awake TV and then found out that you had experienced uh, COVID-19, it was so amazing. Um, I was raving about it, Jen, when <laughs> I was watching it because I didn't realize, oh my God, she was doing all this coalition for global unity interviews and helping a lot of people get their message out there while Jen was overcoming her own health limitation. So I, I want to invite everyone, you know, that's really insane. Uh, that, that was phenomenal. Uh, so Jen, please take over. Share, share us what your inspiration was during that time, especially mom was just talking about having faith in oneself and one's healing. So I was practicing the second part of uh, you know, giving to to myself. So I went to this uh, favorite restaurant of mine so that I can give to myself the comfort food that I was craving at that time. Because uh, at that time, they just opened up restaurants here in the Philippines. And I was telling myself, God, how does it get any better than this? Because I'm having so much fun with the forgiveness part, being grateful, and then constantly asking, how does it get any better than this? Because I find that there's such a lift in that question you know there's an expansion of your awareness that you never really get if you don't ask yourself questions like that because you're already used to a certain line of thinking but the moment you ask yourself something like that something opens up so interestingly enough i go to this restaurant i ask for my comfort food and then they serve it and then i was pretty disappointed because it wasn't exactly what i had in mind <laughs> There was something in my chicken that wasn't very pleasing to me. So I called the manager because I used to blog for food and would take on mystery shopping assignments every now and then for fine dining restaurants. So I know I had every reason to write a negative review of the restaurant, but I told myself I don't want to do something like that because sometimes the business owners they take the you know, they take the brunt of of that experience but sometimes it's just uh the staff are so tired they overlook that thing so anyway i talked to the manager and then um she apologizes so a few minutes later i was asking myself i just asked the question how does it get any better than this so why does this <laughs> incident happen to me so anyway the manager comes back serves me the same comfort food that I want, but this time everything's new. So there's no, uh, she replaces my disappointment with something that's really delightful and then serves me something else that was really um, out of my expectation. So instead of paying $7 for that meal, I mean, instead of paying $14 consciously, that okay, just like I share with my daughters, I said, listen, I mean, you know, you, you, you're putting that prayer out there, and when I when I advocate, when I when I help claimants with their unemployment, and they'll say, well, what if this happens? What if this? What if this happens? The judge doesn't rule in my favor. I said, well, we might as well stop the consultation right now. I said, if that is your belief, then we might as well not go any further because what we're doing is going against the grain. And then you being in the flow, I'm a vibration of I'm, I'm a, numer a numerologist. I am a vibration equation special i've been doing it since the 80s just like today i did our our our, our vibe for, for for the, the for today the universal vibe i'm a vibe girl <laughs> i'm a vibe too <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when you were there going to the flow, I said, I know that's why I said, that's like my cup, learning to let go, trust in the flow, positive attract. So I just wanted to, <laughs> to, to um, share that when you said your vision. When you said, I asked God, one, one time during meditation, the spirit shared with me, there's a difference between visualization and vision. I didn't know that visualization is what the things that we want. Vision is what God has for us. Mm -hmm. so when, like when you said, okay, God, what do I write today? I said, look, look. she said, I mean, she said, okay, what's what's the vision of God? So I just love that. Yeah. But yeah, the dipping, the dipping, <laughs> dipping be, before <laughs> dipping to it, that's one of those. Um, it's, it's with music because I'm an expiring uh, musician. I'm going to put music 
to my poetry and in other things. I'm creating like a CD, a special CD thing. Dip into my mind is basically it's it's a um, a mature woman in her 60s who says she is sexy. She done came into her own. She ain't for the games no more. So dipping before before you dip into and it's a metaphor before you dip into my mind and other things. You better be sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> so, so it's Fantastic. Got, you know, all those life lessons, you know, dealing with that drama and all that kind of stuff. And now it's like, ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, mom, this is the reason why I love having you around because she can literally light up the room uh, easily. Uh, in a snap of a finger, you just uh, bring so much joy to the space. So anyway, um... stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.